two huge games in today's episode. We start away at Ibrox to play against Rangers and then we're away at Anfield to play against Liverpool in the Champions League group stage. Let's get into it. Yes, hello, welcome around to Living Sports, here for the Kelly Boys on Football Manager 21. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button for more daily Football Manager content. And if you missed the last episode, go and have a look at it. We got off to a really good start to the season, but for some reason, we never I show you a game. We don't win it. We drew against Zenit, as well as beating Dundee United. Since then, we've been in a fairly decent run of form. We beat Hamilton 5-0, goals from Perez, Boba... Fabrizio Fuentes and Ketia and Daniel Stacey. We then beat Ayr in the Usher Derby 2-0. Thanks to goals from Jeff Eisner and Boba. Celtic were next up and Boba scored two and Fabrizio Fuentes got one. You can see Boba's been scoring lots of goals. Uh, he then got another two goals against Zenit. One from Abraham Fuentes and one from Alfredo. And against Dundee, a goal from Eddie and Ketia got as a disappointing draw against them. Actually, because they are quite low down in the league table. Um, not not ideal, I'll say that, but we were having a slightly rotated side for that team for that game, I should say. Um, but still disappointing. If we look at the Scottish Premiership table, we're actually five points clear at the top, winning ten, drawing two of our games, or two draws we're against Dundee in tenth and Motherwell in seventh. Not not the teams you'd expect us to be drawing against, but nonetheless, yeah, we uh we we, we move on and we try and beat all the, the teams around us as we've been doing. And one of those teams we were playing as Rangers today, a win against them, puts us 10 points clear of third place after 13 games. Pretty, pretty far ahead at the top of the table. You can see the goal difference. Ours is much, much better than everyone else's in the league. And uh, hopefully we can push on at the top of the Scottish Premiership table after the game against Rangers today. That is the first game against Rangers. We do then play Liverpool in the Champions League group stage. And if we beat Liverpool, then we actually will top the group. And progress. So we've already qualified after four games because of our uh, two games against Zenit, our win against uh, Liverpool, our win against Galatasaray. We're already through, guaranteed in second place. But we would like to come first, just you know, so we can say we've come first. So that's something we'll be looking to do when we travel to Anfield in the second game of the episode. A draw would keep us top of the group. A win would actually win it. So that that would be good if we could do that today. But as I said, our first game of the episode is against Rangers in the league. It's a Friday night fixture and we do have some fitness problems, unfortunately. We've got injuries to Boba, Collins, Abraham Fuentes, Pedraita's not fully fit, neither's George Pena, Sika is not fit at all, Matteo De is not fully fit. There's a few injuries in the squad. Thankfully, we've got a very, very deep squad. And that means that we can field a team as strong as this. Garcia in goal with Perez and Anderson at centre-back. Their usual centre-back partnership. Menge will cover for Sika at right-back. And Thompson will play at left-back. So basically, it's four centre-backs we're playing across that back line. So they should be solid defensively. And we've got lots of height for when we have to swing in corners and and crosses and free kicks and stuff like that. In the midfield, it's basically our strongest three at the moment. The three I'm choosing to be our strongest three. Vlalic in the middle of Stacey and Isaac. Fuentes, Fabrizio Fuentes on the right-hand side. Eddie Nketiah is going to cover on the left because of the injuries to Damao and Abraham Fuentes. And up front is going to be Alfredo covering for the injured Boba. Fingers crossed Boba is back for the game against Liverpool. Because he's been on a fairly decent run of form. He scored 16 goals so far this season. The next closest is Fabrizio Fuentes with 10. And then not many other folk have scored a lot of goals. Demal's got four. And that he's in third place in terms of number of goals scored. So so Fuentes and uh, and Boba really are leading the line for as well. Fuentes is, as you can see, a four and a half star player. He's just outstanding. And I have a feeling he might leave in January. And that's going to be really, really disappointing. So obviously we beat Rangers the last time we played up against them, right at the start of the season. We've already seen them, as I say, play against us this season. So hopefully we can get another win here. This time though is at Ibrox, so maybe it will be slightly more difficult, especially without our important striker of Boba. But let's see how we get on 
Rangers playing in blue, ourselves are playing in white, and the Rangers throw the ball into here to Alzati and Halovic and Murphy, and that's wide of the goal. That was Rangers' first shot of the match, but it was the first highlight of the match. We are playing on the Friday night, which means no one else is playing just now, so we can get ourselves an eight-point advantage at the top of the table if we do get the win. The ball was swung on by Isaac there. It's come out to Stacey. Back out to Isaac on the right-hand side. He swings it in. Stacey gets it. Can he hit it? It's over the bar. Blazed over. Throw in on the right-hand side from Rangers here. He gets down the line. Goes past Thompson. The ball swung in. It's tipped onto the post by Garcia. Good good goalkeeper in the end there. But Rangers come at us again. Halovic there in midfield with it. Plays it all the way back to Milinkovic at centre-back. The ball played forward toward Peterson on this left-hand side. The ball swung in, gathered by Garcia. And is this going to be the end of the highlight or is it going to be a chance for us? The ball's played short to Perez and Mengi. The ball played up the line to Fabrizio Fuentes who gets past his man, drives in field. Gets challenged by Peterson. But Stacey challenges McCall and Alfredo gets the ball back and Enketia gets it. Stacey, Alfredo into Fuentes and it's a goal for Fabrizio Fuentes. It's 11th of the season off that right-hand side. He's such a goal threat off there and he's doing... Doing it again. He's a small man. I just noticed that compared to the height of basically everyone else on the park. But he's very good with his feet. And he finishes that nice little. Fredo threads it into Fuentes. who cuts in field and slots it into the bottom corner. Half an hour played. Kelly up 1-0. Pearson throws the ball in here for Rangers to Murphy. It's swung in. It's cleared away by Perez. And McCall collects it to Yanni here. Plays it back to Alzate. Down to Peterson on this left-hand side. Alzate with it again. Swings the ball in. Cleared by Anderson. But Peterson collects the ball. And to McCall. McCall finds Preston. And they're playing the ball out on the right-hand side. Horma Zabal there. Hailovic. The ball switched toward Peterson now. In toward Alzate who hits it. And it's off the outside of the post. The keeper was rooted to the spot. No way he was going to save it. It's still 1-0 here. A very even game so far. But we are just sneaking ahead. And we've reached half time there. The score is still 1 0. We're just about hanging on. There's another chance for Rangers here. Peterson throws it in and Mengi heads it away to Yanni. Finds Peterson on this left hand side. And Alzati, we could break away if we win the ball back high up inside this uh, this Rangers midfield. But Hormazabal plays it through to Preston. It's switched into Delberg. And Delberg gets his fifth goal of the season. And it's 1 0. All here at Ibrox. I must say, we're not playing particularly well. So I might have to make a few changes if uh, if we don't sort this out. Or Mazabal there into press and hits it across goal. And Delberg slots that in the left-hand side of the goal. And Rangers level now with us. One all here. Corner swung in by Isaac here to the middle. It's headed away. Alzati flicks it on to absolutely nobody. And Stacey will collect this ball. And he goes down the left-hand side, finds Enketia, who switches the play toward Isaac. Isaac back to Vlalic, out to Menge. He's unmarked on this right-hand side. He drives forward with the ball. Is he going to hit it himself? He has. Oh, my goodness me. He's off the side netting. I thought that was in, to be honest, but unfortunately not. Thompson throws the ball in here from the left-hand side. And Enketia drives forward in field, switches it to Fuentes. Isaac knocks it forward to Enketia. And what a goal, but it's been disallowed for offside. A lovely, lovely work. Piece of Football there from us. And Ketia to Fuentes. Back to Isaac. And oh. Oh, he's just offside. That was a nice finish from Ketia. But it is still 1-0. We've made three changes. We've brought on Carrasco, uh, yeah, Francisco and De Mao. And the ball was swung in there. And uh, from the free kick. And it's just launched by Rangers up the field. Just getting rid of the ball. Yeah, so we've taken off Simon Thompson at left back. Daniel Stacey in the midfield. And we've also taken off... Uh, and Ketia from the left-hand side. Mina launches the ball forward here down the left. Peterson swings it in. It's headed away by Anderson. Only as far as Peterson again, though. And now it's headed away. Wilmot is coming on in the midfield for Rangers. Or Mazabal on the right-hand side. Oh, it's off the underside. The underside, the bottom of the post. And we are just about hanging on here. I must say, I think we're going to take a draw if we can have it. I would have liked to have had the win, but if, uh, if we're going to be this dominated as we have been, I feel, by the way, the highlights have been... I'm happy to take the draw, especially without Boba up front. Fuentes has got us the goal. The one all draw keeps us top of the table. That's the important thing. And we move on to play the more important game in this episode against Liverpool in the Champions League group. A win against Liverpool for the second time in this group stage would make us win the group. Let's see if we can do it.
We are now 18 games unbeaten in the Scottish Premiership. That includes five games last season after the post-split fixture. So we are 13 games obviously unbeaten this season, possibly on track for an invincible league season. Let's see if we can finish off our uh, Kelly career with an Invincibles season. That would be very nice indeed. Some pretty bad news for us here are star centre-back Sergio Perez out for two to three months with a torn abdominal muscle. He's away to see a specialist and that means he's going to be out until February, which is, uh, which is disappointing indeed. We're going to have a lot of matches happening over the winter period and we'll have to do them without Sergio Perez. Right, so here we are ready for this game away to Anfield. Possibly the toughest match Kamarnock may ever face with us as manager. Certainly it is the toughest match so far. Maybe there will be some more tough ones as we progress through these Champions League knockout stages because we are already qualified. As you know, we have some injuries. We don't have Sergio Perez, as I mentioned. Demal still out a little bit of injury. Out a little bit of injury. Out a little bit with injury. Should be back fairly soon, though. So, this is a team we are going to go with. Garcia in goal. Menge will partner Anderson at the back. Sika on the right-hand side. Carrasco will start instead of Simon Thompson at left-back today. Vlalic in the middle of Stacey and Isaac in midfield. Fuentes on either side, Fabrizio on the right and Abraham on the left and Boba back in the team up front, 16 goals, his last 5 games he's got an average rating of 8.22, hopefully he can continue that good form into today's game against Liverpool, let's get into it, should be a good one. And here we go, the teams are out there, Liverpool in there, red, we are wearing our blue and white and Anfield is full of Liverpool fans, no surprise there, hopefully we can Cause a little bit of an upset here. The ball's played long there. It's saved by Garcia, but it was offside anyway. And Liverpool have had most of the ball to begin these first four minutes, but Fuentes has got it. He drives in field. He tries to hit a shot, but it's challenged. And the ball comes away. Stacey's already on a yellow card. Carrasco switched the ball toward Isaac, but it's intercepted by Camavinga. And Esposito on the left-hand side, back to Vernet. Everton Leandro switches it to Max Ahrens on the left-back position. Esposito. And it's a good save from Garcia. Well, it's a bit ropey so far these first five minutes. Not exactly ideal. The ball swung in. It's headed away. Camavinga hits it, and it's tipped over the bar by Garcia. Garcia so good in that goal for us. Hopefully he can keep it up. The ball swinging again and it's headed away. And thankfully, we have uh, we've survived that little barrage. And Carrasco's off the park injured just now. So Fuentes throws it is into Fuentes. And Vlalic gets the ball to Anderson now. All the way back to the goalkeeper. Maybe it'd be nice if Carrasco could come back on the field. Sika with it. On the right-hand side, will he thread through Fuentes? He runs himself. Back to Isaac. Now Fuentes. Now Sika. Goes down the right-hand side, finds Isaac, into Fuentes, stays in the end of the box, other Fuentes, oh, Fabrizio passed it to Abraham, but it was not good enough, our first shot of the game, and it's just gone wide of the post. Throw in on the right-hand side, Sika finds Isaac, he gets the ball back, can he swing it in? Goes toward the byline, tries to get past his man, but doesn't, he's got the ball back now. He tried to pass it to Isaac, but it was intercepted. And now Liverpool can break away here. Can Dan Anderson get over to challenge us? No, he can't. Avalos comes in and he hits off the outside of the post. And <laughs> Liverpool have 10 shots to our one so far in this game. And Max Ahrens, oh, he's challenged by Stacey. He's already on the yellow and he's going to get sent off, isn't he? And we're going to be down to 10 men. Yes, we are. Daniel Stacey sent off. And we're down to 10 men after 27 minutes of this game. Oh, that is very, very disappointing, I must say. I I must I must say. It really is disappointing. So we're going to play with um, a 4-4-1 four, four, formation, basically. Just play two in midfield as we were uh, expected to, to do. Now we've, we've lost one of our midfielders. I, I, we can't. There's the option that we play without a striker, but I don't think that's going to be very successful for us. Uh, I'll just be asking for pressure to be thrown on us. So I think uh, I think we'll just have to go with 4-4-1 and, and hope, hope for the best. 
it's a corner kick for us. Can we score from it? Boba swings it in toward the back post and Max Adams gets away with it. And it's a three-on-two situation here. The ball switched to Vernet, who goes into the box and hits it. It's a good save from Garcia. And Garcia is going to have to be on top form today because we are going to be under the cosh here. The ball swung in. It's, oh, 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 oh. it's a free kick. I'm not sure why. Maybe there was an offside in there. But that's went off the, the crossbar. And uh, away for nothing, thankfully. Sika with the ball on the right-hand side now. Back to Fuentes. Back to Sika. Can he swing the ball in the box? He can. It finds nobody at the back post. Fuentes nearly got there. But Alexander will be up to it. And the ball's launched long. Everton Leandro on the right-hand side for Liverpool. Into Vernet in the box. And it's a goal. And Baptiste Vernet scores his fifth of the season. And Liverpool are up 1-0. And I imagine that it's just going to open the floodgates now. Oh, we held on nearly for the first half. Nearly until half time, even though we're down to 10 men. But Liverpool have been better than it, as you can see. And uh, they probably deserve their 1 0 lead. I think that's fair enough to say. Down to 10 men against a team like Liverpool is always going to be tough. And that has proven to be the case. Free kick for Liverpool here. Leandro swings it in and it's headed in by Adrian Smith, the centre back. And Liverpool are up 2 0. And it's just gonna, it's just going to get worse, I think. The ball thrown long, but it's picked off by Paradiso here. And I'm just going to add insult to injury. The ball swung in, and they have. Esposito gets the third of the game. Oh, we haven't lost a game all season in any competition, and we're going to get absolutely demolished here. We're going to have to change the way that we're playing slightly. We will we will go back to, to playing... Uh, to, to, to playing three central midfield players. Move him back to a, a, an advanced playmaker on uh, on attack. And move Fuentes to play in as a, a box-to-box -box midfielder. And put Isaac back at his advanced playmaker and Vlalic on that side. Boba can play out on the right. And we're just going to... Just going to have to set probably change to a more defensive mentality. And hope to not concede anymore. I was trying to be attacking and try and get the win even though we had 10 men but it's not going to work and unfortunately Liverpool are going to beat us today even though since we've changed the style Liverpool haven't had a shot but uh, they are going to win this game I, I, I can feel my commentary being more demoralised than it was at the start of the game 3-0, we have lost Liverpool there. We never really looked like doing anything, especially being down to 10 men. That team talk was not good at all. And we've lost 3-0 to Liverpool. And that does put Liverpool top of our Champions League group, which means we have to hope that Zenit takes some points off Liverpool and we beat Galatasaray in the last one to top the group. And that is a game you'll get to see in the next episode. We will be taking on Galatasaray in the last game in this group. And we'll see if, if we can top this group. That would be very nice if we could. Not sure if we're going to do it, but we might. You never know. So if you are looking forward to that one, if you have enjoyed this episode, even though it's not been the best results to show you, we've won so many games, but we haven't won any games showing you today, then please do leave a like on this video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until the next episode, we'll see you then.